this massive box was sent over to me by Reef Kinetics from Lebanon and it is going to make my reefing experience so much easier. As you might have known, I don't test my water that often because it takes so much time doing all these tests and to be honest, I don't like chasing numbers that much. I will only test my water if I notice something is off, like the corals are not looking well as they are maybe closed up or not looking good, you know? Basically, anytime I sense something is off, I will test my water, but those tests take a lot of time as well. So Reef Kinetics reached out to me and wanted to send me one of their ReefBot labs. This device will test my water automatically and I don't really have to do anything other than to check my phone to see the water parameters. So as you can tell, I'm pretty excited about this new piece of equipment for my reef tank. I have one and I'll be testing it out for my big aquarium, the 40 gallon, which as you know, I've had some problems with before. And maybe if I like it, I'll get two more for the other tanks. So first up we have this warning sign, which we'll read very carefully. And then, it seems like these are the instructions. It's just one piece of paper. If it's gonna be that easy, I'm gonna be very happy. So first up we have this box. I hear glass, so you have to be careful with it. It looks like it contains the vials and other testing equipment, so I'll put it aside for now. So this is the actual ReefBot lab. It's wrapped all in plastic, so let's take it off and see what's underneath here. So here we have the instruction manual. It has a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up this ReefBot lab. It says we have to cut the zip ties on the actuator, which is probably this device right here. And to reach it, we have to remove another panel. So let's see. Ah, you have to lift it up a little bit. Then you can get the bottom out and you pull down very gently. You don't want to break it. It's some type of plexiglass, I think. All right, so yeah, here are some zip ties that we'll have to cut. So there are a few zip ties over here and I hope this old pair of scissors can cut through them. That's one and that's two. Okay, so the power cord goes right into here. Okay, now stuff is happening. The actuator, which is right here, moved up and there's a red light over here. So I'm not sure what it means. We have to take a look at the instruction manuals. Okay, so now we have the power plugged in. We need to connect these three things to tubes, which they also supplied a lot of. One has to be connected to the tank, which will supply the tank water to the ReefBot lab to get the water tested. We need to connect one tube to a wastewater container for when the testing is done and the files need to be flushed out. And the last one has to be connected to a water container with zero TDS water. So according to the instruction manual, we have to download the app from the App Store or Google Play. In my case, the App Store, I use an iPhone, but it works on both. Okay, so we have the Reef Kinetics Cloud Controller right over here. So let's download it. So the app itself was pretty straightforward. You have to create an account and just follow every step it tells you to take. It was a pretty easy and fast process. The ReefBot lab is compatible with a lot of different test kit brands, which you can find on their website. You can schedule these tests through the app and receive notifications and emails along the way. Between tests, the syringe cleans itself to avoid contamination and keep up with accurate test results. It comes with a 20ml and custom 60ml vial, so if you want to do a lot of testing, I suggest you go for the big one. If you want to learn more about this device, check out their website or stay tuned for an upcoming video where we will work on the 40 gallon aquarium and perform some tests with this device. Thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts about the Reef Kinetics ReefBot Lab.